So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. Today uh, I'll be showing you how you can prepare some onion skin, specifically this uh, dry outermost layer here, um, for microscopy. And what's different this time is, is that it will not only be using water as a mounting medium, but also oil. So this is regular co uh, cooking oil that you use uh, for frying um, things. Um, and uh, when you use oil for mounting it, it does actually have some um, advantages as well. I would like to show this to you. Okay, uh, we also need cover glasses uh, over here. We're just going to put them to the side and of course a uh, microscope slide. And this uh, onion here is, we don't need that right now. First things first, uh, let's uh, use some scissors to cut uh, this onion skin into smaller pieces. So here we go. Put one here on the right side, one on the left side. And uh, let's uh, add now um, a little bit of water to one of them and a cover glass and uh, oil to the other one. So let's uh, do the water first. Let's move this a little bit out of the way here. And you can already see uh, uh, the problem that uh, the water and the onion skin, they do not like, uh, they don't like each other so much. Uh, so yeah, you see that the onion skin starts uh, to float uh, on top. And uh, cover glass goes on top as well. Okay, but it seems to be okay. And uh, now let's uh, try it with, uh, with the kitchen oil, the cooking oil. And uh, I'm going to exchange the tip because there is some, some water in here. So here we go with the oil. You see that the oil likes to spread uh, much better. Yeah, the oil likes to spread much better and uh, cover glass goes on top uh, in any case. Okay, so just make sure that uh, no oil starts uh, to spill out. Otherwise, there's of course always the danger that uh, the oil will then make contact with your microscope objective and that's something you don't want. But you see, maybe I just want to press down a little bit more here. Yeah, so now it's nicely spread. Um, you can already see that, uh, yeah, this one all looks a little bit darker than this one over here. And there's also an air bubble visible over here. Um, but let's have a look under the microscope. So I'm now using my 10 times uh, magnifying uh, objective and this one is now the onion skin uh, surrounded by water. You see over here big ear bubble. Um, over here there are also tinier bubbles um, yeah, visible. Um, this is because the water and, and the onion they don't like each other so much. Uh, the onion skin does seem to be a little bit hydrophobic and therefore um, it doesn't like to get in contact uh, with water. But luckily we are able to see those tiny little squares over here. These are so-called uh, oxalate crystals um, that uh, can be seen nevertheless okay so um, yeah let's have a look at a different a slightly different place over here yeah here it's a little bit darker we have to refocus uh, again yeah but um, again we are able to see um, yeah small bubbles um, everywhere right um, again I think they don't really disturb very much they're not that big um, and maybe it would have helped to uh, simply submerge the onion skin into what the water for a couple of minutes give it a little bit more time maybe to soak up uh, the water that would have probably helped All right but here um, again we see it quite nicely those uh, those air bubbles now let's have a look um, at how the oil um, the onion skin in oil looks like yeah, so this is now um, yeah, how it looks in oil, I have to refocus again. And I think that, uh, as you can see, it looks much, um, under quotation marks, cleaner a little bit, right? Um, the crystals are still quite nicely visible. Um, yeah, uh, but if, if you just move around, you see that, yeah, I don't see any air bubbles, right? Um, and again, the, the reason is, is because uh, the, the skin of the onion... Ah, here, here, there's a tiny one over here, right? <laughs> the skin of the onion uh, seems to reject water um, and uh, therefore, in, for some circumstances, oil might indeed be the better choice of, 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 a, of a medium. Uh, for example, bird feathers. It's a, that's a very uh, a strong case to be made here. This is because bird feathers are also oily and uh, they don't really mix with water very well at all. So that means if you add uh, if you, uh, water to bird feathers what they're going to stick together uh, yeah and um, it, it, they're not going to look very nice but if you uh, put a small tiny bird feather in into some oil then you actually see the structure much better right uh, but you know what uh, why not go up a little bit with the magnification yeah. and now of course uh, the oxalate crystals inside the cells are, are nicely visible yeah I wonder what these things are maybe maybe these are bubbles okay it could be yeah, but in any case, uh, in any case, it's much better than, uh, for example, the one in water. Let's go back to the water and have a look again. Yeah, here, for example, yeah, here we can see quite nicely, yeah, that uh, that's air everywhere here. Yeah, and it also does not quite look as transparent, 
Yeah, so um, I think uh, this also has to do something, uh, not only I think, I'm quite certain that this also has to do something a little bit with a refractive index. Um, but when you add, for example, oil to paper, then uh, the paper also becomes uh, um, uh, translucent. Um, it allows light to go through. And the similar thing also happens with uh, with the onion skin. If you add uh, oil, then it will also become a little bit uh, yeah, more, more translucent, allowed, uh, allowing more light to go through. Um, and... Uh, this is uh, not the case uh, with water. Yeah? So this is basically yeah, something that I just wanted to share with you. Okay, so if you're not quite happy with the results, so that's again oil. Um, so if you're not quite happy with the result when using water, uh, then uh, try, try oil. Okay, finally, I think I might have found a, a bubble here, right? Uh, maybe this is one, um, but um, I guess you are able to see that there is still a quite a significant difference. Ah, yeah, over here on the side. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to uh, simply uh, leave it at that. Uh, I hope that you found this uh, mini tutorial informative. Um, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around in the next video. Bye-bye.